morning. I am having breakfast. So I'm still kind of on the low carb thing or the next to no carb thing is what I'm calling it. Cause I had some carbs, but very little as far as like bread, pasta, potatoes. That's what I'm like aiming towards. Not, I mean, there's been some rice, there's been, you know, like some fruits are considered carbs, some vegetables are considered carbs. I'm talking breads, pastas, potatoes. I'm actually been contemplating and looking at, well, hold on, let me flip you around. Let me show you what I'm having for breakfast and I'll flip you around so we can chat. So I'm having an omelet with spinach, cheese, and ham. This is my vinegar, honey, lemon drink and grapefruit. So, and a bottle of water. Ugh, flies. I will be glad when the flies are gone. Anyway, let me flip you around. It's funny, you buy tripods and then you never use them. And it's like, why? Because now my hands are free. <laughs> um, so, I had started, and I think I briefly talked about it on here. I haven't really been discussing everything. Well, there really isn't anything to discuss. But, um, like, um, I had cut most breads, pastas, and potatoes out for a week, and then soda for a week. Um, I was going to cut out sweets and stuff too, but yeah, that was pushing it. Um, not that I really eat that many sweets, because I don't, but, um, I like ice cream and I like chocolate. I'm not going to lie. So, I had bought, they were 50% off of Safeway, so I've got a box of those Magnum mini things they're like chocolate bars they've got like chocolate and chocolate syrup and caramel and oh my god guys they're like delicious <laughs> they're so good but i got the mini ones not the big ones and they were on sale 50 percent off so i only paid two dollars and fifty cents for a box of them and but they're delicious and that's like my treat for the day like i would rather have that than a loaf of bread or a box of pasta or something like that i'm doing this because there's flies i should bring a fan Anyway, so I went through the first week with that. Then the other day I did have soda. Two small bo bottles of um, Diet Pepsi, because I love Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi and Birch Beer are my two favorite sodas. I will only drink Diet because the full flavor stuff, it tastes way too sweet to me. But that's it. I had two and I had them the other day, not yesterday, but the day before. And I haven't had any soda since then. I've just been drinking water or water with flavor added. So, I think that's pretty good for me. I don't want to share my breakfast with flies. And I'd go in and get my lighter and light my thing, but then I'd be leaving my food open to the flies. Anyway, so I had also said how frustrated I was because I had gone three or four days and not seen any difference of anything I had gained weight. I weighed myself this morning. I'm down six pounds. <laughs> six since I started. A week, a week, it'd be a week and a half, not even a week and a half because I started on a Monday. So from Monday to Monday's a week and then today's only Wednesday. So nine days. I'll take it guys and trust me I'm eating like I don't want people to think oh well you know you're dieting and you're not eating and you're not eating right I'm eating I'm just eating better things like oh my god I'm addicted to the salad like I haven't shown you guys because I just haven't been but like I'm addicted to the salad which is it's a mix I think it's it's just a salad mix like uh, greens and then I have dried cherries, cranberries, and raisins, and then walnuts, and then I put goat cheese and strawberries with, I gotta show you this, because I found it, and it's amazing. It's wildflower honey and lime dressing, I think, by, I wanna say Maurice. It's freaking amazing. It's like a vinaigrette, and I've been eating that for lunch and cottage cheese and yogurts and which is all stuff that I love but I've also had my ice cream and I've also had popcorn and that kind of stuff I, it's not like I'm not eating other things 
and you know eggs and cheese cheese I can't give up cheese if anybody tells me I have to give up cheese I might as well just chalk it all up I don't know if this is helping now I haven't had it the past two days just because I forgot but I don't know if the, the vinegar drinks doing any good or helping with anything or not I don't know but it's not hurting anything so there we go but yeah so six pounds nine days I'm pretty proud of that I'm pretty happy about that plus I've been busting my butt around the house doing work and going to Zumba and work in general I need to film a video because I bought those, um, what are they called? Beyond Burgers. Beyond Burgers? Not burgers, but they're plant-based, but they're supposed to taste like burgers. I bought two versions at the store that I want to cook and try. But I also want to go to Burger King and try theirs too. So I might make like a whole series with it. Plus, I'm not eating bread. So I would wanna make one with a roll, and maybe have the kids try it, maybe not tell the kids. I mean, I think Lacey would know just cause she knows I bought them, but maybe the other kids wouldn't know. And here, try this burger. Let me know what you think. Type of thing. But yeah, so. I'm really working hard, guys, to, to take care of myself. Um, it's really hard. And it gets really frustrating at times because there are times where I can't, like, I've got to focus on taking care of Lacey and taking care of the house and taking care of the kids. And that's every freaking day. I do know that there has been other teenagers in this house for the all summer all summer I think I can count the number of days that she hasn't had a friend over in on one hand all summer and um, I'm gonna be really glad when school starts next week <laughs> so kids not so much but me yes Thanks for joining me for breakfast. I already gave you guys a piece of ham. I am not giving you any more food. They won't beg me. Like, they'll sit there and watch me in case I drop something or decide to give them something. But they won't beg me. Like, they won't jump up on me. They won't sit there and whine because they know. Where's Chaz? He's over there. They know I won't. I won't feed them from the table. Greg used to all the time and they used to jump up. He used to not be able to sit down and eat because they would literally be all over him. They'd be climbing his legs and I don't play that game. Huh. I don't mind sharing sometimes and giving them a piece of ham here and there or a hot dog here and there, or roast beef here and there. Oh, it was funny. I, when I used to work for Hardee's before I moved down here, when I would close, I would bring home any of the leftover like hot dogs or whatever that we're just gonna throw out just for the boys and they knew it they knew when I came home that late at night that I'd have something for them they'd be waiting for me at the door and I would just cut up a hot dog and give it to them and or some roast beef or you know an older burger that they might not that might be going in the trash I would just bring it home and give it to the dogs that was their treat for the day wasn't it? See, I don't do that no more because I don't work at the Hardy no more. Though I've been told that if I want to move back to Pennsylvania, I could get a job. They'd have a job for me there. I'll be honest. I do miss it. I do work missing in the restaurant. Miss working in the restaurant. And here's, or at least that particular job, because my personality likes to continually learn and grow. I like to learn new things. I like to be creative. I like to, you know, that kind of stuff. 
especially being creative like I used to come up with stuff all the time especially as a general manager new programs new incentive programs new ways of getting my employees to do what I wanted them to do new, you know that kind of stuff new ways of whatever but plus also they taught us how to manage people not manage money so like we knew how to manage each person as an own individual person and anyway so it was like a constant flow of new stuff coming through you know we used to go to trainings every month we used to you know the new products coming in and out we used to go to trainings for them they were fun it wasn't like you know here's the paperwork learn how to do it type of thing we would actually go and make it and share it and talk about it we used to have to take quizzes and tests on it so that we knew nowadays or where I'm at now half the time the managers don't even know how to make the products and the only reason we do is because we brought the paperwork so I have no idea where I was going with that <laughs> well I guess where I'm going is this where I'm at now I'm being I don't want to say I'm being suppressed because part of it is because I don't want to really move up in the company like I don't want to be an assistant store manager or a store manager and the reason for that is is because that the, the corporate company they're managing money they're not managing people and maybe I'll get in trouble for saying that on here I don't care it's just the way it is and a lot of corporations do that they manage money not people and what they fail and where they're failing at is they failing where they're failing where the what they're failing to understand is that you've got to manage people so that the people make you money because if your people are miserable and don't want to be there and are just getting by and aren't really doing exactly or aren't going above and beyond what's expected of them or aren't even really doing exactly what is expected of them they're not gonna make you any money you're gonna lose money because people aren't gonna to want to come to a store or a business one the feeling of the place is just will be bad and two where's the customer service at you know and the people that do care and that do want to make you money you don't anyway I don't want to go into a rant about all that it is what it is it's not the only place in the world that's like that so here here you go flies I'm done you can have the rest we'll put it way over there and they'll leave me alone so yeah so there's that that's why I'm constantly that's what I like about YouTube and that's what one of the things I like about making videos is my brains constantly ticking what can I do next what can I film next what can I talk about next what can I create next um, you know we get involved in a lot of like craft stuff you know at least the community that I'm in even though some of us claim to not be crafters we still get into a lot of crafty stuff you know you know, that's like for August and me starting to introduce doing some new things, you know, like the trying new things, which, like I said, I have an episode planned and that's the Beyond Burgers. I just, you know, I want to make it right. I don't want to do anything half-assed, you know what I mean? Or, or, you know what I mean? That's why a lot of times there, if there are days I don't put a video up, it's because I'm either A, going to half-ass it or B, I don't have anything interesting to watch except for me sitting here talking. Now I know. You guys like sitting, me sitting here talking sometimes, and that's okay. And these are good videos for the days when I don't have anything. But I just, I like being creative. I like doing different things. And ultimately, the goal is to make other people smile and happy. Um, because when I see other people happy, I'm happy. You know what I mean? Like yesterday, I watched Leah from Ability Mom of Two this video of her unboxing of her sunshine packages that we all sent to her and it legitimately made me happy to see her smile like that like I was like uh, you know when she pulled the blanket out and was so excited it was like yes that's why I'm doing what I'm doing because other people are smiling um so yeah you know we started YouTube as a family thing to uh have memories of us as a family and I'm so grateful I have them and I've thought about that a lot lately especially in light of 
what's happened to No Guts and No Glory, like if that happened to me, I would be so devastated. I would be absolutely devastated, especially if I could not regain those videos back. And my mind's been turning, like how is it possible for me to take the videos that are on YouTube and save them somewhere else so that I have them? Because, because of us using our phones and our iPads, you can't keep that footage all the time. You can't keep those videos. You have to delete them or it uses up your storage space. You know, I can't, you know, I don't know if I can download them again and save them onto, you know, download them onto the computer and save them onto a disc or a drive or a, a memory card or an, one of those things. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But if you know if that's possible, let me know because if it's possible for me to take my videos from YouTube and put them back on my computer and save them in another spot, I would like to. Because if I lose all those, I lose the last two years I had with Greg. And that would kill me. Um, I'm very grateful to have those memories because I don't have anything from before that. I mean, there's pictures. I have pictures and pictures. Trust me, I have pictures of I must have six or seven SD cards sitting around here with just pictures on them. A lot, 90, well, 85% of them are of nature, but the other 15% are of us and of him and our family. And I have those, but having those videos, hearing him talk and hearing him, it means the world to me to have those. So, I mean, I still have like, I never deleted any of the footage from Florida last year. So like, I still have all the clips from Florida and there are some other videos that I have, but of him, but nothing like the vlogs. So I'm trying to figure out now if it's possible to save those in another spot because I don't want to lose them. Because if that happens, I mean, I know I would survive, but it would definitely be devastating for me. It's like a feeding frenzy for these flies. But at least they're not bothering me. But there's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a good 30 of them there. It's disgusting, isn't it? I'm done eating, so it's okay. I'm just going to take it and throw it in the dish sink. But it's funny because I literally filmed a clip earlier of me talking for 21 minutes. And here I sit again. It's 16 minutes in and all I've done is talk. sucks not having anybody to talk eh, I mean I have you guys to talk to but I don't mean like having somebody sit here to talk to I don't know but I guess it's kind of like me getting everything that's floating around in here out and if somebody watches it and listens or whatever then great so yeah so I don't know I think I rambled and went on to a bunch of different things that I don't even know about because my, that's what my brain does I jump from topic to topic, but I, have, I think I started out with the whole healthy eating thing and Lord only knows where I went from there. <laughs> but I have Zumba at 10.30 and then by the time I'm done that, get to Walmart to get my cat litter, cat food, um, Renee should be in town so I'll be able to hook up with her and hang out with her and whatever we decide to do. So yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to end this. This is probably going to be it for this vlog. Um, just because, I mean, if I film anything with Renee, I'll put it in a separate video, but this is a eight, 17, 18 minute video in itself. So I'm not going to drag it on anymore, but I love you guys. Thanks for having breakfast with me. Love you.